In this video, I want to talk a little bit about some terminology, essentially, that you'll run into when you are studying differential geometry. And so the first one I wanted to talk about was what is uh, sometimes called the Leibniz rule, uh, which is the covariant derivative of a scaled vector. Uh, so the covariant derivative of a component scalar and basis vector or vector. And that's, I mean, it's, this is essentially just sort of a, a little bit of a generalization of what we've already encountered. So if we have this scalar here and this vector here, and we take the covariant derivative, uh, then we end, uh, which is this right here, so the partial like this, we end up with the partial of the scalar times the vector, and then the scalar times the partial of the vector. And in what we've been talking about, this scalar has been the component, the component uh, of our vector. Then this vector has been our basis, our basis vector. And so this term right here uh, is just the Christoffel symbol. Uh, and so that is just, uh, this is just a generalization of saying that it's a scalar and a vector whereas in the slightly more specific case, we've been talking about the component, which is a scalar, and then the basis vector, which is the vector. So the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Levi-Civita or Levi-Civita connection. Uh, I've heard this pronounced both Civita and Civita. In my head, I usually just end up pronouncing it Civita, so that's probably how I will be pronouncing it here. Uh, so this is the form of the Christoffel symbol uh, that comes from the covariant derivative known as the Levi-Civita connection. Uh, and it's just the Christoffel symbol that is the one that I've been talking about here. So you can have different types of connections. Uh, and it's called a connection. Well, I'll get into that in a little bit. Each of these terms that I have colored here, I'm going to uh, dive a little bit deeper into, but uh, the Levi-Civita connection is sort of the specific type of connection we've been talking about, and the specific type of connection I've been talking about is this Christoffel symbol. Uh, and so this Christoffel symbol in particular is the torsion-free metric compatible covariant derivative. Uh, and so now I'll talk a little bit about each of these uh, terms here that I have uh, highlighted in color. So the connection or the affine connection uh, is essentially the way that, uh, well, it's essentially connecting two different parts of your manifold. So if this in green here is our manifold M, and we'll call this, uh, this point here P and this point here Q. Uh, and so this in this sort of uh, salmon color would be our tangent space at P on our manifold. And this would be our tangent space at Q on our manifold. And so if we want to connect, so if we have some vector here, and we want to connect it to that same vector over here, uh, then what, what we're doing is using those Christoffel symbols because that is our connection. And uh, it is, uh, so essentially we can think about it like this. If we have this uh, vector here in blue and we transport it to somewhere else, so from P to Q on our manifold, uh, so if we transported this here, we'd end up with, you know, something sort of sticking into the sphere here. Uh, if we wanted to just sort of face in the same direction, like this green one here. But if we want it to sort of face in the same direction in our tangent space, then uh, we have to have this correction here uh, to make it into the purple one so that it's, you know, facing in sort of the same direction in our tangent space. And so this right here, this correction, I guess you could call it, is sort of what our Christoffel symbol is. So the Christoffel symbols are the uh, components, so the components, uh, components of that vector there. So that vector sort of correcting this here. So that is our connection there. 
All right, then so the blue here, so the torsion free uh, is, uh, there's, you know, well, it's essentially saying that it's path dependent. And so if we have torsion free, then if we take our two Christoffel symbols here and put them in this commutator or Lee bracket, uh, so uh, Lee bracket, which is sort of the more general version of the commutator. Uh, but essentially here, we're just doing the commutator. So we're taking uh, with the I, uh, the IJ times JI minus the JI times IJ. And if there's no difference between the two, then it's zero, which means that it's not path dependent. Uh, so I have an image here of just sort of uh, what uh, sort of torsion is so it's this sort of bending of the path but uh, in our case what we're talking about is if we start here at uh, and I'll actually do this in red so you can see it a little bit better so the red here so if we move this way up to here uh, and then this way we'll end up at some point here uh, but if we move this way uh, we see that uh, that we uh, end up over here and right here the sort of upward component of each of these vectors is larger and so we'll actually end up somewhere further up here and so there's a path dependence where if we take this path we end up right here and if we take this path we end up up here and so this difference between the points if there is torsion uh, will be what we end up with here but if there is no path dependence if uh, either way we go we end up at the same point then it will be zero and so we will not have path dependence uh, and so what we're saying is that uh, doing this uh, particular levy civita connection uh, it is torsion free so it is path independent. We do not have this uh, difference depending on the path that we take. And so in our particular levy civita connection of the Christoffel symbols, then uh, we are saying that we do not have torsion. And so this is torsion free. Uh, and so we don't have this path dependence. All right, so then the next thing is what is called metric compatibility, uh, which is essentially saying that if we move from here well if we move so we're at point p and we move down to point q here uh, then with the uh, dot product will stay the same so say we have uh, some vector like this and then i'll do the other one in blue uh, like this uh, and then so we take the dot product of uh, so we'll call this one uh, we'll call this one in black v and we'll call this one in blue here w and so if we take the dot product so we have our uh we have our oops that should be a g so we have our g here i j and we're taking we're using that metric to take the dot product of v and w uh, then that should be the same as if we so we sort of transport down here and now we have V like this and we have W like that uh, so then we have you know some G K L here and we are taking the dot product of V and w and so the dot products here and here should be the same uh, and so that's i mean that's kind of what i have over here so we have the uh, we're at the the tangent space of p on our manifold m and we take the dot product should be equal to c then at the tangent space q of m we take the dot product and it should also be equal to c so in other words the metrics gij and the metrics gkl are compatible so they are compatible and so the dot product is conserved everywhere on our manifold uh, and so that is what metric compatibility means and so we bring all those things together so 
Uh, so we, our levi Savita connection, which is this affine connection between the two different points, uh, is torsion free and it is metric compatible. And so the uh, sort of uh, the covariant derivative that we have been doing, which it follows this Leibniz rule, uh, is the levi Savita connection, which is the torsion free metric compatible covariant derivative. Uh, and so, yeah, those are sort of the terms that you might run into uh, when we are doing uh, these Christoffel symbols. Uh, in particular, as you know, I've been kind of using Einstein's field equations and general relativity as sort of a backdrop uh, to, to motivate all of this. And so when we are doing uh, the uh, Einstein uh, field equations, we will, for the most part, be using torsion-free and metric-compatible Levi-Civita connections. Uh, there are other types of, uh, of connections that you can have. So the Levi-Civita connection is a specific type of connection. Uh, there are other types of connections that you can have over your manifold, but we are interested in this Levi-Civita connection. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found this video helpful uh, in your study of tensors and in the study of the uh, general relativity, and I will see you in the next video.